this generation will do anything for a selfie. And I mean anything. You've probably heard a lot about that Instagram chick recently that gave up all her social media which essentially was her job because she had had enough of it. It was all becoming too fake for her and it took her a while to realise it. I mean, we all know that social media is fake. But she just wanted to make a stand and try and raise awareness or whatever. I mean, she went on six hour shoots just to get a couple photos for her Insta game. I'm not that crazy but after you watch this video, Almost. So I saw Shane Dawson, aka Queen, aka Life, aka Best Friend. It's this one sided thing, he doesn't really know about us yet. Briefly promote a product called the Lumi case. I would never know if he was given that product for free, but I definitely don't think that he was paid to promote it because he literally just mentioned it for like 10 seconds of one of his vlogs. But that's all it takes for me to be sucked into consumerism. My ears immediately pricked up because the idea of the case in basic terms is a portable studio light for the front of your phone when you're taking selfies. Anybody who takes a lot of photos will understand the pain of a front-facing low-quality camera when they've spent so much time trying to find the right lighting. To me, it was kind of like answering all my first world crisis problems at the cost of a bit of dollar. And I say dollar, not because I wish that I could be American so I could stand outside Shane's house and wait for him to accept me as a friend or a lover, although I have thought about it, but because they are literally American-based. That's right, you've guessed it! Shipping fees, meaning I probably could have bought an arm and a leg, paid off my university debt fees, and squeezed in the local prostitute for the total price of this case. I spent $69.80 on a case that was basically going to make my eyes look a little bit more shinier, my Instagram game look a little bit better, and me look like a tool in public. Yes, I've used this case in public, and people seem to think that's some sort of invitation of me saying, hey look, hold my iPhone 5S. So I bit my tongue and I hit order. The excitement killed me after this. I spent every morning wagging my tail at the postman, wondering why he didn't have it, and if maybe he had kept it for himself. You know, to take a selfie outside your door because he's sick of proving to people that he knocked on your door 50 times before you didn't answer, so he had to drag your Ikea shelf back to the post office. Two weeks went by, no phone case was received, but what was received was a fee slip saying, oh hi, I'm the order you've been waiting for. You will have to pay an extra $21.38 for me to get anywhere remotely close to you. Custom fee charge is basically when the post office gets you to pay some bollocks amount of money just because you've ordered something from a far away distance. Because you know, post offices don't charge you £10 to send a stupid t-shirt that you don't even want to a foreign eBay user because it came to you five sizes too small anyway. So at the time I'd received this custom fee slip, there were a few other things that I was waiting for in the post, so I just thought I'd pay for it anyway. I didn't see it as much of a problem, I just thought I'd pay the fee and then claim my money back. But when I had paid the money and the lady handed me over the box, which I knew for sure was the phone case, she could probably probably smell the amount of anger in the air as I was like, are you kidding me? This meant at a grand total of $91.21 and a first world problem solution later, I was a very angry woman ready to let out a lot of steam. Hello Lumi Case customer service, nice to meet you. I don't know if this is something you know about me but I'm all about customer service. Most of the time if a company is really friendly to me I'm a whole lot more understandable. Sometimes even if I see a fault in a product, if I know that the people behind the company are generally quite nice people. I just feel more of a reason for me to be okay with the fault and maybe even more inclined to think of an excuse on their behalf of why there might have been a problem in the first place. That's all I ask for in life, nice people. So considering I was really angry, I actually typed up quite a reasonable email. I put in all my details, like my address, when I ordered it, what time I ordered it, what came, how much I paid for shipping, how much I paid for the item, how much I paid for the custom fee. I was pretty nice and I got a response almost instantly. And sure, that sounds very good and positive, but that was probably because she didn't have much to say in the first place. In other words, the email I got back was basically, go away, we don't want you here. In other words, she probably should have just said, F off. In simple terms, she basically told me that they don't make any money out of the custom fee charge that I had to pay, so therefore it wasn't their problem. So I can understand that, I can understand why she told me that, but I still feel like a little bit of like friendly conversation and negotiation possibly was needed there. It was just a very dry email telling me that I should have read the details and go away please because I don't want you, even though you're a customer to my service and have spent nearly a hundred fucking dollars on your company. It doesn't hurt to act nice even if you're sat on the other side of the computer you to like I hate this bitch. So I responded and I told her that I'm gonna make a lovely video review of your company and let them know what happened and she basically replied almost 20 seconds later saying thanks for your reply and then spoke about the exact same thing she did in the last email in different words. Don't take me for a dumb person. <laughs> 
is so much sass in this video, but I just literally think that $91 for a phone case, this review is going to be very highly honest. Also, this is probably the most honest video review you're ever going to see on this channel. So you're probably all dying for me just to shut up and show you how it works. This is the case in all its glory, and this is the main function. So what you do is you turn the light on and off using this button at the back. The light is very good, it's very bright and you can actually change how bright you want it just by holding the button down. It will change the quality of your photos dramatically. I've taken some before and after shots of me in different environments to prove that for you. It comes in a variety of different colours. I got it in white thinking it will look classy but in reality it just looks cheap. <laughs> it makes it look really big and bulky and plasticky and cheap. And in all honesty, I don't really think they needed to plaster their brand name on it at such a big size. I can understand if it was in the corner or just smaller where it is, but it takes up such a big part of the phone case. It has a little space here on the side for your volume button and your silence button. I presumed that it will be made of silicone or like the sides will be plastic and then the middle bit would be silicone. Due to the plastic material, it makes the vibration sound like you have a huge ass sex toy in your handbag, so enjoy that in the public train. I don't really know what to do about it. Literally, when your phone vibrates, it hits the plastic and it goes Rrr. With my old phone case, I didn't feel like I was constantly going to drop it and it's just a very slippery material and it does make me wonder if I'm going to drop it eventually because of how different it is to my old phone cases. With my old silicone case, I could pop it on the side when I'm watching a YouTube video and it will actually stay there. Or if I dropped it, it would just do a little bounce instead of breaking, a bit like me. But with this, I don't feel like that would be the case. The case. Case. 91 f***ing dollar case. If you're wondering about power, it runs by charge and there's a little charging port that you have down here and the charger will come in your box. There's a charger that you can use with your actual iPhone phone charger. You can just put it in there and then plug it in here. Three hours later. Obviously that phone case is haunted or I just shouldn't own it. Not only was it a hassle to buy, it's also a hassle to review because my camera no longer has the last bit of footage that I needed to make this video because I accidentally deleted it thinking it was another bit of footage. Also, not necessary. If this box was smaller, I probably wouldn't have needed to pay for the shipping and the custom. So this is the charger it comes with. It's just a USB that you can plug into your port that you use to charge your phone anyway. Huzzah. In all honesty, if I didn't have so much hassle buying it, if it wasn't so expensive, I would probably be running rings around the moon because of how much I like the product and how it does its intentions. But at least I have a funny backstory to it, I guess. Lumi, if you're watching, I love you. Hire better customer service, but I love you. Please provide a service for people in the UK to buy products from you. If you're watching and you're from the USA, big up to you. Go buy it, go love it, go take pictures in the nude, Snapchat up your dog's nostrils. If you're British, consider how important you actually think selfies are to your life and then think about it really deeply and then just but anyway, I hope I covered most of it. I know this video is a little bit angry, but I'm just pissed off in general. So at least I have someone to rant to, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Love you so much. Bye. <laughs> this is from Super Mario. If any of you are like, wow. These always used to creep me out as a kid. But I love it. I love retro things. I don't play a lot of video games nowadays. The types of video games I like are old stuff. So then they've also popped in some pop, like popped in some pop rocks. Because it's Halloween and they put trick or treat. When you get the one up box, it's always a treat. This is especially good if you live in the UK because we don't have pop rocks here. Oh my god. Oh.